Yeah, he's a great example for other people because you're right. There is a tendency when guys get to a certain level to start to get complacent and to feel like they've kind of reached that pinnacle and now it's just their turn in the rotation. And that couldn't be further from the truth. It takes constant hard work. It, it takes constantly improving because if you're not constantly improving, somebody's going to pass you on the other end. There's too many guys that are working hard at their craft. And so I think Chris is a great example of that. He, he, he stayed hungry. He continued to work at it. He continued to get better. And I don't care what level you're at all the way to the major leagues, you have to have that philosophy because the day that you stop striving to get better, reflecting on your work from today to make sure you're better tomorrow, once that goes away, it's just you're, you're going to lose what you have. So uh, he's a great example. There are others, and, and, uh, and I think uh, those are the guys that you want to definitely kind of model yourself after and, and, uh, and, and, and look up to as mentors. That's a remarkable decision, and, and I'm sure not an easy one. I'm sure he struggled with it for a while, but he seemed to know where his passion lies, and, uh, and he wanted to be able to have a future in teaching and having an impact on, on other umpires, and I think that's really commendable. I, I, um, I can't think of too many guys that might have come to that same decision, especially being so close. And um, so it, it really says a lot about him as a, as a, as a good quality uh, human being. And um, he's doing what, what his passion is telling him to do. So, uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's good and uh, you know, I hope, hopefully it, it works out for him. Those, those kind of things usually do when you're selfless and you, you, you tend to look after others, things usually work out for you. So.